Okay, so we are here at the uh, GitHub account uh, website, uh, and you can see that here, github.com, and we're going to go through the process of signing up a user, new user. So, let's see, where shall we go, where shall we go? Oh, look, there's a big button, plans, pricing, and sign up. Let's click on that and see uh, where that takes us. I think you could probably do the same thing here, too, but uh, I like this big blue button down here, so I'm going to click on that. Look! Free for open source. All right, micro, small, medium. Yeah, pay money, pay money, pay money. I'm broke, so I'm gonna go create a free account. All right. <laughs> okay. Now, who do I want to be? Hmm. I think I want to be this guy, Baby Gosh. All right. Now I have to uh, have an email account for Baby Gosh. Oh my goodness. Who the heck am I going to be for Baby Kosh? Oh, I didn't see. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, let's see. What will I be for that? Okay. Enter in some information here. All right. And let's see, will that uh, go for us? All right, looky there. Baby gosh, okay, cool. Now we have a new user all set up, all ready to go. And uh, that's it. Now, uh, that less than a minute <laughs> to sign that up. Okay, I've got uh, zero repositories. And a uh, nice little welcome thing here. Welcome to GitHub. What's your, uh, what's your next, uh, next step? And that's it for the uh, tutorial for this. All right, now I'm going to add some... Okay, so now you're probably wondering, where did I get this fantastic image for my account for Baby Kosh? Well, if you roll over the graphic here, it tells you to go over to Gravatar. So when you click it, it's going to send you to a different site called Gravatar, where you can select any image you want and plug that sucker in there. And I chose a nice picture of Kosh, Kosh Naranik from Babylon 5. Baby Kosh. All right, now I'm, going to, I'm not going to go through all of that because this is not a tutorial on Gravatar. This is about Git, GitHub. So I'll leave that to you to work out on your own. Now we're going to do. <laughs> we're going to grab the second part of this, if I can speak correctly, um, and that is the GitHub for Mac app. Um, I'm on a Mac, right, as you can see, a nice little apple up there. Um, if you're on Windows or Eclipse, you can grab one of these other things. But for right now, we're talking about Mac. Mac. So GitHub for Mac. Click on that. A uh, nice little uh, introductory page here. Download the latest. You click it. You download it. Right. Now, of course, I uh, already have this on my machine. Ta -da! Okay, so I have it here. Click on it, and it opens up, and you see that I already have a bunch of uh, repositories associated with mine. Don't freak out when you open up yours because there should be nothing here, okay? Um, all right, so now I'm going to set this up with my online account at GitHub. And as you can see, I already have my name, my email address, right? Here's where you will put your uh, GitHub name that we just created earlier and the password associated with that. And you will log in. Okay. Let's see. Baby Kosh. And what was that? Something like that, I think. Ah, uh, look at that, right? Baby Kosh is there. And you see that I have two things over here. Uh, the repositories under uh, my computer, right? My repositories, your computer, your computer. This is my computer, right? The app is talking to me. Uh, okay, I won't go into all the problems that I have with, uh, with this app. I'll talk about that person to uh, programmers that I meet in the real world. Anyhow, so here we are. Go on repositories, right? 
and uh, that's it. You're you're now connected to uh, your account via GitHub. I can go and grab repository, create new, and it's going to look for uh, test repo, test rope, <laughs> test repo. Oh my goodness! Description, just test. Uh, local path. No, I don't want it inside the Jasmine stuff. Let's get this out of here. Uh, frack, come on. I don't want to take all day with this. Okay, desktop. Put it on the desktop. We'll call it GitHub test. So this is uh, where all the files are going to be located uh, locally. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of that. Do it like that. Yeah. Push to GitHub. Yeah. Keep this compliant. Yeah. Baby Kosh test repo, all right? Now, if I switch over to GitHub and I go back to my account, Baby Kosh, let's refresh that. Now I have a test repo. Ta da! Baby Kosh created repository just two minutes ago. And you can see that this repo. Uh, actually lives on my desktop. Desktop, get, 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 get. Now I have too many things in that GitHub test, test repo. Yeah? Ta da! Okay. That's it. Now you have uh, logged into GitHub, you've created an account, uh, you even create a nice little gravatar image so people can see what you look like. And you have uh, downloaded there the GitHub app and connected with the app to your GitHub account. Next, we'll talk about uh, creating uh, teams and creating a team workflow. All right, that's it for uh, this tutorial, this uh, how to log into GitHub tutorial.